All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. We got news. We have gameplays. We've got all the stuff going on in the community. We got the best builds. We got the badge videos and how to do everything that you want to do. But most importantly, we have something that no other YouTuber has, and that's Jim What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Look, I'm working on my audio. Somebody in the, in, the, in the description down below said that, you know, you need to check your audio, see what you can do. I've made some tweaks. I've done a lot of work, moved my mic. I've done some things. We're going to see how this comes across today. Hopefully, it's better. I will continue to work on that, and we're going to get better. But right into the news, man, listen to me. My boy, poor boy, is saying, I was in the stream today and he said he feels like that that needs to be a rep boost, a rep buff for the ordinary park. Now everybody knows that you have a rep, you know, that there's more rep in Pro-Am and there's more rep in 3v3 Pro-Am and there's more rep in the 5 on 5 Pro-Am than there is, I mean Pro-Am and Rec Center than there is in the ordinary park. Now I don't know if there's more rec in actual Pro-Am or it just feels like it because you're playing a 45 minute game or 30 minute game. And so it's it's really the amount of rep that you would get in like two or three, maybe six part games. So maybe that's what that is. But he's saying that he would like to see a rep, a rep buff to the ordinary park so that he can play the, the mode that he wants to play. Now it ain't no problem because I watched him play in two beats. I mean the three on three program is sweet for him. He's beating people. He's getting his 99s. He's killing people over and over and it's the same people that he's playing sometimes and it doesn't matter. He's just blowing through everybody and he's getting consistent games back to back. But what he's saying is he wants to play the twos so he can get the more consistent games back to back because that's that's his stilo. We, we all know that poor boy saying kills on the twos, and he's going to get more games in on the twos, and, and he'll get his consistent games back to back. Not everybody can say that. He can, poor boy saying can sit on stream for nine hours straight, and there will be only about 30 seconds between games or something like that. He's going to get consistent games back to back. Anybody else, they're not going to get those consistent games back to back. And so he feels like he's being forced to play the three-on-three -three program and slaughter everybody in there instead of being able to just have fun and do what he wants to do and play the two-on-twos or what have you. Now, I do understand that the twos games are shorter, and as a result, you really... Do, I don't know if they want to make the rep be the same, but just make it be somewhere around the same. I feel like the rep should be the same, and it should be relative to the game type that you're playing. So, like I said, if you're playing a, a rep game, that should be the same amount of rep as like maybe six part games because when you divide it out, that's about how long it takes. A normal part game takes about five minutes or so, not counting the time. We're talking about of actual gameplay. It takes about five minutes of actual gameplay. So a rec game takes about 30 minutes of actual gameplay. So that should be about six. That's about six times, you know, uh, the rep. Or we could just say five times if you think a part game takes six minutes. So let's just make it relative. And so if a twos game takes about four minutes and a normal threes game takes about six minutes or, or what have you then you just make it half of the rep or you make it like uh about 75 percent of the rep something like that if those numbers add out it just depends on how, how much you think if you think a twos game takes three minutes and a, nor a normal game takes six minutes then just make the twos game half the rep of of, of a normal three on three part game and then that'll be that was resolve the issue um but i feel like all reps should be relative but at the time that's not the case uh i think mcgurk is playing and he's he's like he's getting like 0.1 per game or something like that while people are getting like 0.3 in the three on threes but like you said mcgurk he's getting constant games back to back so in the time that somebody's waiting he's probably able to make up that but it is what it is you, I, I just think if it's not relative and we should not be counting the waiting time, I completely agree with him. But if if you're saying that you want it just because, you know, you want to do what you want to do, then that that's a, something else entirely. I know Sin. Sin is a cool dude. I don't think that's what he's saying. He said he just wants it to be relative because he knows that he's going to get games back to back. And the only reason other people are not doing this is because they know that nobody really knows them and they're not going to get games back to back. 
It's just, it's just, it's just, it just is what it is. It's just a fact of the matter. So I'm inclined to agree with saying on this one. What do you guys think? I know we can, we know G Sight's annoying and guys like that are gonna get games back to back, but they're not going for top rep. We're talking about the people that go for the top rep that are variable unknowns. They're not gonna get games back to back. So the three v three program was a godsend for for them. My career was a godsend for them in the last couple of years. But in a year like this one, you know it's a little bit different. But hey, it is what it is. We'll see how it goes because you're not getting games consistently back to back three on three in the normal part. But anyway, I digress. We're gonna move on to something that's a little more popular in the community right now. 2K Lab on yesterday, they put out a video and they talked about the jump shot mechanics. And I looked at this and I'm gonna tell you what I think about it right here. Hey Cap, do you think it's all Cap, Cap? No, Jay, I don't think it's Cap. I don't think it's Cap either. Check it out. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, we probably should move to nine. Let's go to let's let's go to uh, screen number nine. Can we go to camera nine? Camera nine. Here here we go. Look, 2K Lab says that they had a video and it, it and it shows how your shooting or they they show how your ratings influence your shooting, right? So what we're saying is, if you have a 70 rating. Your earliest green is at 683 milliseconds. If you have a 75 rating, your earliest green is at a at 681 milliseconds. If you have an 80 rating, that's almost a 30 millisecond difference. 653. If you have an 85, that's 13 millisecond difference. Six, uh, 640. If you have a 90, that's that's what a six millisecond difference, and then it falls off from there. The greatest difference is between an 80 and an 85. This proves two things. I told y'all that five was the threshold. I've always told y'all if it doesn't make a zero or if it doesn't make a five, it doesn't matter. If you if, and that's how I've always done my attributes. So this right here proves that I am right. So if you're making your bill based on having having a 96 over a 95, I would always favor the 95, save the point, and go somewhere else. So this tells you that it doesn't change until we get the fives. This is something that I've known since 2K's inception, like when 2K, NBA 2K came out and we created players and did stuff like that. I've always known that fives and and, and zeros were, were the actual thresholds. But anyway, we ain't here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is, we all know I'm right, I'm always right. What we really are here to talk about with this one is, this might be the secret sauce to why you're missing shots and why you're mistiming your shots. Let's say from 80 to 85, that's a 13, that's that's a 13 millisecond difference, right? That doesn't seem like much, but if you're timing something and you, you're timing something precisely, that is a lot. So look at it like this. You're on the court and you play a game. Let's say you're running with randoms. You're playing a game with somebody that doesn't have dimer. You've got an 83 or something like that. You get on the court, got on, got diamond. He's passing you the ball. It's 650, and 653 milliseconds for the earliest green. Boom, you're hitting green, green, green. That guy steps off the court, and then your guy, you get another guy that gets on, and he has diamond, and that's like an extra play. Let's say your shot is an 81, and then the guy has Hall of Fame diamond, he's kicking it to you, all your badges are kicking in, and now it's bringing it up to an 85. That's changing your, your release point. So now it's 640 milliseconds, it's a 13 millisecond difference. Then, let's say that the guy has, uh, somebody else comes on, and he's got dimer, you've got all your badges, you've got dimer, and you've got, um, and he's got, uh, uh, what do you call it, a floor general. So let's say Dimer is gonna be four, and let's say you just got an attribute point because you're 96. Now, when they pass you the ball and they're on the floor, your jump shot is effectively a 90. So that's almost a 20 second, a 20 millisecond difference. Do you understand how big that is in precision and timing? This right here is the reason that you feel like your jump shot is off from game to game and when you're playing with different people and when you're doing different things. Also, I'll tell you this, if you got somebody on the court, because a lot of people don't feel like like Floor General and uh, Hall of Fame Diamond matter, I am telling you, it matters. I play with some people that don't have it at all and my jump shot feels slow as all get out. It's just like, Ugh! and I'm trying to shoot it. When I play with my guy, when my, with my guy uh, Dynamic, when I play with dynamic, that jump shot is lightning quick. It's almost too fast for me to use when I'm when I have it on uh, quick draw on silver because dynamic has what he has is is Hall of Fame dimer 
and he has Hall of Fame, um, Hall of Fame floor general. So that's already boosting you up. So like I'm, I'm a 97 right now. So my jump shot is an 82, right? He's on the floor passing me the ball. It's at a 90 some odd. And then with Hot Zone Hunter and, and Catch and Shoot, it's probably at like a 94 right now, 95 almost. You're talking about almost a 30 millisecond difference. I have to nearly just touch the button and get off of it. And the thing is, I'll shoot a full white with him and he'll do the and he'll do the curry, uh, turn around, show him how that ass look, you know, or the or the run away from the shot because it's green. It's crazy how much having both of those badges buff your player is and that's just from something like that but it definitely changes it because if somebody else passes me this the ball i might miss and i'll be like dang that was really slow like if the center gets a board and kicks it out it's like dang that was kind of slow or you know my jump shot it just seems like the timing is different so it really is different depending on this if you've got let's say if you've got a low 80 or something like that if the center passes you the ball you might have a it, it might it, all your badges might combine and you may have an 84 jump shot, which you'll have a better chance of making it. But at the same time, you're not going to, I mean, it, it's not going to be any millisecond difference because all of your badges are going to combine to give you an 84. When dynamic passes you the ball, they may pass, they, they may combine to be an 85. And then, so your jump shot's going to seem different. If dynamic is just on the floor and passes you the ball, you may be up to a 90, almost a 20 millisecond difference. That's what it is right there. This is the hard data where 2K Lab put out a video and you guys you guys need to go check this out. They put out a video and like this is all of the stuff. This is everything, all the graphs and all of that good stuff that they're showing you um, in the video. Let's take the crop off. Like they just show like, look, you 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 got the you got the joint and it's like your earliest green window. You're gonna make 23% more, 70, 75. You know you can see you can just you just see everything pretty much uh, that you need to see. Um, and that if you have a high rating and you're over 85, you know, it, it really doesn't make a difference. But if you have an 80 rating like I, you can make 78% if you can hit the perfect green window. And then if you're like right before the perfect green window, slightly early, you're going to make 35%. If you're, if you're here, edge of the green window, you can make 50, uh, 50%. So it's saying that you should definitely aim for the green window, you know, almost every time, because if you do that, you're gonna be more successful. That's things that we already know, but I'm just showing you how this information impacts your jump shot. Like your jump shot is something that's really important. And we felt, we've always felt like, bro, for some reason, I'm shooting worse than I was shooting, uh, you know, I'm shooting worse than I was shooting last game or whatever. And that's definitely the case. I'm trying to get this, uh, this other window straightened out for y'all, man, but that's, that's 100% the case right there, man. You are shooting differently based solely upon who's passing you the ball. And even though that seems crazy, that's how it is. Anyway, we're going to get back to live action, man. Let me see which one of these windows I got. Did I got the crop on this one? I want to show you guys some videos. Like, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Is that how it should be or it shouldn't be like that? Now... Uh, on to the next one, man. Or oh, do you even understand what I'm really trying to say? It is what it is, man. But look, showing love to the community, man. And even though these guys get more more views than I get, I just want to show love to the community. And I mean, we're gonna show love to somebody that you guys might know, might not know either. Brutus him on the scene, wicked that mean. He's got a video out today about the rep system, the overall rep system. They did some tweaks to it and all of that, and why it may need tweaks. Your boy Duke Dennis has a video out. Hey, he's got his new guard bill, and he said he went off. You might be able to check it out. You might be able to use that bill. Grinding DF. Same thing. Demigod Curry bill. Gets busy. Shooting fades. Still shooting fades. You can still shoot fades, and I can tell y'all how to shoot fades. Get the video to 200 likes. Just 200 likes. I will put out a video, and I will show you how you can still hit fades consistently. The 2K Lab video that I was just talking about, 2K Lab, they, um... They, they got the video, Jump Shot Mechanics. Everybody needs to go over there right now and look at that video. Understand what I was trying to tell y'all. And um, and you know, you'll, 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 you'll see what I'm saying. And last but not least, what's my guy? Is it Mason Ramsey on YouTube? It might be Mason Ramsey. No, it ain't Mason Ramsey. What are you talking about? We're gonna go to youtube.com. And uh, it's Mason Payne, I think it was. 
I got to show y'all his, I have to show y'all, um, show y'all this guy, man. This was a guy, he's shooting, is this it right here? No, 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 no. He got 250, 250 subscribers. Y'all hold on a second, man, because I got to show y'all this guy's page, man. He's got a stretch and he is getting busy and I spelled it wrong. It is M-A-S-E-N underscore P-A-Y-N-E. This is who we're talking about right here. Mason Payne. He's got a video. And I'm sorry for my for my stuff. I'm doing everything live because I'm, I'm getting ready to leave the house for a second. But look, Demigod Center Bill hitting straight greens. Everybody, and I mean everybody, needs to go watch this video. If you're a gym star, go watch the video. Show my guy some love. Tell him Easy sent you. Because, bro, we got to help each other out in this community, man. I'm going to be doing this for any YouTuber, any small YouTuber uh, that's coming up. If you're putting out good, consistent content, I'm going to be shouting you out on the show every day. And uh, we just going to go we just gonna go at it like that, man. I'm going to help people. I don't care. If I don't grow, then it is what it is. But I'm going to help somebody, damn it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you like that. So if you got anything, you got videos, you do videos, and you do them consistently, and you have good quality Please hit me up, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Mostly, mostly probably Twitter, and I'm, I'm going to get you in there. Anyway, man, I got to get up out of here. hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you got any questions about anything, hit me up in the comments. Let me know uh, what you think. Tell me if the audio quality was better. Like the video, share the video. Use this information to your advantage. Use this information to your advantage from 2K Lab, bro. You got to. Use this information. Go watch the video. Use the information to your advantage. You watch my videos. You ahead of the curve already, man. I got to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time. That's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug.